Hey folks, how y'all doing? Um, today you won't be able to see <laughs> my face because of, uh, for all recording purposes, entertainment purposes at that. Um, today I am talking about how to make a lamp. This is, uh, a lamp that is made for, uh, the altar. It's an oil lamp. I like to call it, um my genie lamp because you get to make your wish or set your intention and create this um, vessel um, that will remain that is supposed to remain on your altar if you have the seven powerful altar items list you'll know um, why this is significant I made a reference an item that you should have on your altar at all times. Um, I also recommend that you do your best to keep this lamp um, lit on your altar. I know there are many um, references made to oil um, in the Bible, but um, of course we're talking about Haitian voodoo, so this is a little different lamps are nowadays there's all kinds of lamps there's gas lamps and uh, electric light bulb <laughs> lamps um, that are used for necessity but this lamp really um, the main I guess the 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 not the purpose um, but more it's more about intensity as it is than it is um, necessity um, this is just a way to, again, to uh, set an intention for a particular thing. You can use this uh, according to if you're doing your moon magic or your moon manifestation. But this really, this lamp um, is a simple and basic lamp. There are different types. Um, different oils are used. And again, um, Vegetable oil is not to be used in this lamp. Um, not bergamot, not other stuff that you can use. You can use a different, uh, if you're using a soja, you would use a different type of oil and put different types of, um, um, different types of things in there. This one, I'm going to just keep it basic and this is just for beginners. It's very simple, very basic, um, even this lamp itself, there are there are certain things that you can put in this, but just for people who are beginning or just being introduced to Haitian voodoo and practicing, um, this is to kind of just get you started. And again, here, this is lit with um, with a cotton. Um, usually, uh, yes, usually. Um, Candles are made with, um, uh, I, I guess, to light it, uh, wicks are used, and they use wax and other stuff like that, but this is really made with... in a cup? Yeah, a cup. Um, this is used with cotton. Not the cotton that you would purchase in the store, um, but raw. This is from Haiti. Um... And again, if you can get your hands on um, raw cotton, not processed, not bleached, that would be best. If you if you would like, you can also email me and I'll see if I can get some out to you. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, you would use cotton. Um, so that you can uh, make your 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 mesh. This in Haitian voodoo is called a mesh. Um, and okay, I, I think this. If you go to a religious store, you can buy it as well. In the city, it used to be two fifty. I hardly ever use these, um, but they are little wicks. Um, that you can put in here. Um, you're not going to find this. You'll find this in a Haitian botanica and a Haitian religious store. Um, again, 
please support Haitian products. Uh, one of the challenges that um, the Haitian economy has is is um, production and having materials, not materials, things that are manufactured out of Haiti. So if you can support Haitian uh, commerce, <laughs> that would be great. Uh, cotton can be found there. This is called the Etoile. Okay, as you can see, it's a little used here. This is my personal um, Etoile. Uh, it's made out of metal of some sort and it's cut out in a particular design um, that is used to hold up your mesh um, inside the lamp again it's like your little genie lamp you get your not three wishes but one um, your best bet is to uh, use material that you can really put your imprint upon um, not just you know touching it and it has whatever but <laughs> it's something that you can really um, manipulate and uh, consecrate if you will okay um, this is my gift to you if you will hopefully, hopefully this won't cause an, up an uproar it probably will but um, again this goes hand in hand with that seven uh, altar items list okay and this will just teach you how to use one of the items that was um, that I described on that <laughs> on that particular download okay uh, mesh you need your your mesh your etoile, a bowl that is only used. There's different types. There's a soja toapie. It's different. It's, um, I don't have it here with me. Uh, I guess I'll have to do something else on the side. Um, see if I could get the, the, the soja out. It's made of metal and it has three feet. Um, it's it's likened to a cauldron. It's easier to find a cauldron than you would find a suja. So um, a regular porcelain bowl that you only this is for your altar only. Okay, not to be used. Not no one has eaten from this bowl. This is set aside, um, consecrated specifically for your altar. Um, so you have your bowl, you have your mesh, you have your etoile, okay, etoile, again, the, I guess the translation is star, <laughs> four-pointed star, uh, and, um, for this, for the, for the, what is that, here? what is it called, then, white, no, rada, this would go on your Rada table, and um, so you would use no vegetable oil. This is olive oil here, and um, you need some water. My lovely assistant brought me a little bit of water, so you have your water. Hot water boiled. Again, this is basic. Uh, there's other items that you would use. This is a simple lamp for just beginners. Um, so just some hot water. And you would get your bowl. I'm not going to be able to see the steam on here either. Okay. Your oil. Now the water, you know, if you just put oil in here, it will create this smoke and will, you know, probably stay in the room or stay in the walls and you don't really want to do that. So the water helps to kind of balance it out a little bit. Ooh. Okay, here we go. 
all right your cotton raw cotton not processed this is from Haiti okay to make your mesh your mesh um, to really set your intention okay to make your your request your plea to really uh, connect with your met tech I have to do another video on that as well and your mesh will go I did one I did it prior to uh, recording this video so you could set your you know go in your private space focus as you make your mesh and the etoile sits here okay to float on the water 